Today I'm testing out my DSLR versus my iPhone. So I have a Canon 60D with a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter lens and an iPhone 5. And both are shooting 1080p, 24 frames a second. The iPhone's doing 50 megabits a second. And each is being fed its own audio via these lav mics that are attached to me. That's an Aspen lav mic. See the links in the description if you want to check those out or check out this particular lav and going in an iPhone has a special adapter. So you're hearing the sound, you're seeing the comparison because I wanted to put these two up against each other, A, because I had both, but B, a lot of times I might recommend someone uses their smartphone, Android phone, iPhone these days does great video. And so if you're just starting out on YouTube or just shooting video in general, use an app like I'm using on my iPhone called Filmic Pro and it's giving me manual controls over the settings. So again, I'm shooting 1080p, 24 frames a second and the f-stop, I'm not sure, but I locked it in so the exposure looks good. F-stop on the Canon 60D is f5.6 and it has a larger sensor than the iPhone and so the background might be different in terms of the depth of field, but I tried to make them similar. But the smaller chip in the iPhone, a couple disadvantages might be low light. DSLRs tend to do good in low light because they have that bigger chip, but also the depth of field that you can get. But starting out, the iPhone or an Android device is a great option. You can hear them getting really nice audio, and this is what the image looks like. So this test was just to put the two side by side so you can actually see the difference and I guess in this case, hear the difference. So pretty cool. You can start out with a smartphone shooting video. Don't let that stop you. It is, as they say, the camera that you have with you. Everyone has their phone with them all the time now. So subscribe, ask your questions in the comments, and I will see you next time. And you can also plug it into an audio recorder like this, which also has the little 3.5 millimeter input.